Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Elite CAD and Automotive Design. Today I have came up with one very exciting, interesting and very important topic uh, that is how to become a design engineer or what are the different ways to uh, get a job as a design engineer or how to become an automotive design engineer. So all mechanical, automobile and production engineering students and professionals uh, those who are working in other fields than the design like quality, production and maintenance uh, please watch this video till the end because it's very important for you if you are looking to shift your career in a design and enhance your career I am Sharon Kalshetti, uh, automotive designer, founder and director of Vila ADC Design Private Limited, Latur, Maharashtra I am having 14 years of versatile experience in, in the field of automotive design in very big companies like Tata, Honda, Tata Johnson Controls, Magnus Tier and I was almost uh, for the more than 6 years in Honda Motors North America So if you go to the YouTube and see uh, you will get number of videos on how to become design engineer and all those things they will say you do this and do that and all those things but I am going to share my personal experience okay how I have become a design engineer and slowly I have how I have progressed my career and I have become an automotive designer and today I am the director of one private limited company in Latur Maharashtra and my intention would be to give you honest career guidance irrespective of anything the very first thing I want to clear in your mind is making any 3D CAD models in any CAD software like CADIA, Unigraphics, AutoCAD, SolidWorks any software that doesn't mean you are a design engineer anyone can learn these softwares at their own ok so now the question is how to learn this software at our own there are number of YouTube channels, there are number of YouTubers, they are giving you free training on the CADIA, free training on the CAD, free training on the any CAD software. To just learn the CAD software, you don't have to go any institute and waste your money. They charge you very big money, uh, so don't go and waste your money, you can learn at your own. Okay, that, that was I told you. That's what I told you before some time. You go to the YouTube, you will find a number of YouTubers. They are giving you free CAD training. The only thing is that you should have a computer or a laptop at your home and you, you should have that software installed. Yeah, that software installed on your laptop or a computer. Also, some companies uh, <coughs> offering free training during this lockdown time like our distance learning program we have also offered distance learning program and we are very happy that we have trained hundreds of students through our distance learning program this year in last two months and still there uh, still there are two batches are running so don't waste your money uh, to just learn the software okay there are number of ways you can learn the software now the very big question comes to your mind is that how many softwares one should learn my honest answer is only one because if you know one CAD software that is too in depth or in uh, perfectly then you can learn any other software in couple of weeks you can learn any other software in couple of weeks okay so all these CAD softwares are made for product design that's why you don't have to learn all these softwares that means having a knowledge of one software is more than enough to work in a design field but you have to keep in mind that you have to work as a design engineer whenever you join any company you have to work as a design engineer not a CAD modeler so to work as a design engineer you should have the design knowledge of a particular domain Software is a just a tool which represents what your ideas in your mind in the software. Okay, so software doesn't do anything as long as you do, you do some commands. As long as you give some commands and all those things, software doesn't do anything. So you should know how to design the things. That is the very very important thing to become a design engineer. But if you see in the market, the current scenario is very different. More than 90% CAD centers 
और कैट ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट और ये नहीं कोचिंग सेंटर्स और ये नहीं क्लासेस दे जस्ट ऑफर यू नंबर ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर दे ऑफर यू कैट गया यूनिग्राफिक्स ऑटो कैड ये लेस डायना ये क्लास सर्विस इन सॉफ्टवेयर एनालिसिस सॉफ्टवेयर एंड ultimately what happens you don't get in depth knowledge of any software ultimately with this insufficient software knowledge i am talking about not the design knowledge with this with this insufficient software knowledge you keep struggling for the several months or years to get the entry in the design field because you have not learned software correctly software properly and the design is the too far thing means the design you haven't learned any design so you will not get a job in this way so my suggestion to all of you don't go to such a institutes okay where they give you number of softwares packages if you uh, they offer you like if you learn kadia we will give you autocad free but my friend i want to ask question to them autocad is is almost outdated from the mechanical industry because it's the 2d based software so the civil engineers and the architecture engineers prefer that software i am not saying that autocad is not used in the mechanical field yet it is still used in the mechanical field but very small companies are using that uh, that software because of its low cost by doing this means if you go and join and uh, learn number of softwares by doing that what you are doing is you are unnecessarily wasting your time and money so again my suggestion is that always prefer domain based training centers design based training centers okay they teach you software as well as they teach you design also now we will see what is the domain we talk particularly about automotive domains there are number of domains if you take a particular automotive car there is body that is called as a body in white there are number of plastic parts interior parts like dashboard exterior parts like bumpers and grills these are the domains so in a domain based training center they teach you how to design these things so the bottom line is to work as a design engineer you should have the design knowledge in a particular domain and that to with high end cad softwares like catia and unigra because most automotive companies most automotive mnc's uses catia due to its user friendliness and the good servicing capability now we will talk about scope of the catia in automotive field now you might have thinking that which software you should choose as your design software so again all the cat softwares are made for product design there is nothing like this software is very good that software is very bad and all those things some softwares are good for solid modeling some softwares are good for surfacing so the company purchases those softwares as per their and as per their domain requirement but if you are particularly looking to shape your career in automotive design it is better to go with high end softwares like catia and unigraphics and creo etc so then 90% companies prefer catia because of its control over the surfacing and the user nothing nothing and absolutely nothing beats the catia in surface even some even sometimes ugnx takes a back seat so so that is up to you which software you should choose as your design if you choose low end softwares like autocad solidworks solid edge inventor and uh, and all those things i i don't know that much idea about the low, uh, low end softwares then you will go to the uh, small companies with lower salary and linear growth most important thing is if you choose high end softwares like catia unigraphics creo etc those are associated with uh, automotive domains then you will get a job in a big mnc companies with high salaries with exponential growth okay even you will get a chance to go abroad anywhere like in germany in us uh, anywhere in any automotive uh, country okay that is what my experience 
I chose Katia as my design software in 2006 and I have joined Tata Technologies and then I worked over there for 3-4 years. I was working in Tata Technologies for one of the Honda Motors North America's offshore project. Based on my performance, I went to the Honda Motors North America. I worked there uh, for almost 6 years and with that all experience, one time with the with that all experience at one time i feel that it's a saturation time for me because there was nothing new to learn and i was financially saturated so i decided due to my family background come back and settle down in latu that is my hometown so while i was in us i have settled down uh, everything uh, Everything at the back end in the Latu, I have made all the income sources and all those things and I have started my own firm Eli Dead Citizen Product Limited and it uh, I ran successfully from last uh, two to three years, trained hundreds of students, placed uh, so uh, number of students, yeah, even we have placed some of uh, even we have placed some of the candidates to the Germany. Particularly, if uh, I talk about our company, we give actual design training with the physical parts, whatever the industrial tasks, uh, right, like remastering, master section development, and uh, we consider all those things like design for manufacturability, design for assembly, and we consider GDNT, all those things. So, for each and every candidate, we teach actual industrial happenings and then we place them to the our client if you find this video useful please like share and subscribe and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications of the more new exciting video also if you want me to create a video on any new topic please comment in the comment box so that i can create a video for you and upload it on our channel it shortly with some more important and exciting videos.